Oh, uh, please don't give me tap water. It makes my stomach hurt every time. Drink the water, Lucy. It's the only water we have. If I drink it, it will make me sick. Are you sure? I am sure. Because the water is contaminated. Because of the factory. <sighs> Let me call my friend Ariella. She works for the factory. Why don't you pick up? Hey, Michael Jordan. I didn't work. What's up? I'm calling because I want you to tell factory management to stop polluting. Would I do that? I could lose my job. Because Lucy is sick. And so are the other animals and people. The factory is dumping waste into the water and polluting the air. What? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know I was doing a job that was doing a bad job of... or that I was helping or hurting. I'm just sorry. I'm going to do something. Okay. Bye. Uh, if you betray me, you'll feel bad and guilty. Uh, okay. I won't. I promise. I feel like I'm dying. Oh, I'm dying. Oh, bye. You're going to be okay. Ariella is going to help. I hope. Hey, boss, can I talk to you about something? Uh, what is it? I've been getting complaints about the factory causing pollution. I think we need to close it down. This is my business. It took a lot of time and effort to open. I have been working here for over two years. This is a really big problem in the city. People are getting affected with cancer and asthma. Plus, it's causing global warming. Well, that sounds like a really big problem. What will I get if I close the business down that I worked really hard for? People would think of you as a hero for protecting them. I don't really want to be the center of attention. Or use renewable energy. There are plenty of other ways to not cause pollution. Hmm. That is a really good point. Oh, but it's too expensive. I understand. But if you don't do anything, I'll have to quit. Oh no, Ariella is my best worker. You ask too many questions, you say too much stuff. It's not my fault, I'm curious, I just care for all. If you don't change the factory, I'm just gonna quit. I worked very hard, this factory can't stop. You're good at what you do, you come out on the top. Thank you, but still. for table parts. We rely on the factory for chair parts. 
Any questions? Don't you know food and parts are made in the factory, but the materials are made in nature? What do you mean? You do know that applesauce comes from apples and chair parts comes from wood from trees. The factory is nothing but a scam. Oh. Well, hey, everybody calm down. I can assure you that the factory is very important. It makes things that we absolutely need. Like what? Bad air quality, contaminated water, asthma. People can make quilts, food, and fresh in the water. That's all we really need. The factory makes us sick. Aren't you mad that you can't play outside? Well, if we close the factory, you can play outside. Let's do it. Let's close the factory. Let's protest. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Let's make our voices yes. heard yes. now. Yes. Follow us. Hey, factory. Stop, that's my factory. People have jobs there. Don't you care? Close the factory. Close the factory. Close the factory. Close the factory. Are these students going to win? Close the factory. Close the factory. Close the factory. Close the factory. Whoa. What is that? Feel too good. Ah! ah! What a little green thing. Help me! I'm drowning! I can't swim! Oh ah! no, is she gonna die? Maybe I can help her. Hello? Thank you for helping me. Did you find any spaceship pieces to fix my ship? What do you mean, spaceship pieces? <gasps> oh no! The pieces got sucked up into your water. Do you feel okay? No, I don't. I feel weak. Before you faint, I have to tell you who I am. So, I'm an alien, my name is Myla, and my spaceship crashed into you. The pieces went everywhere and the oil spilled into your ocean. Okay. If you hurt me, you have to fix it. How am I going to do that? Easy. Take all the spaceship pieces out of me. But how am I going to do that? I can't swim. You're the ocean. Why can't you just spit it out? All right. I'll try. <coughs> Pieces. I need help. No, I need help. No, I need help. I, I can't, can't help, help you. you. What are we going to do? We are both stuck here. <laughs> Whoa. I didn't know an alien could cry before. No, oh, you're going to be okay. Don't cry. What is that? No, oh, they're just protesting about the environment. They always do that. Don't worry about it. What are they protesting? They're protesting pollution and the environment and all that other stuff. They never shut up. <coughs> do you think they can help us get the space pieces and help you feel better? Maybe they can help. I don't know. No, no, it has to go. 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 Get out of the way. No, 
No, it has to I have supplies in no. this truck. No. I need to deliver water. People are thirsty. Can you please get everybody out of the way? I want to keep my job. The factory causes bad air quality and is contaminating the water. You're making people sick. I don't throw chemicals in the water. I don't give bad air quality. I'm not a chimney. Well, the factory does, and you work there. And besides, your truck is still running, so you are causing bad air quality. Whatever. Turned off my truck. Are you happy now? Yeah. Actually, I am. You're not doing anything to help people. You're just getting people to chant at the factory. What good is that going to do, huh? Well, for your information, I am helping people. Because I gathered this whole big crowd and I got my entire school out here. This is the best way to make change, period. How are you helping me? Because I'm a person and I'm going to lose my job. I need to pay my rent for my house to help my family with the goods around the house. If you close the factory, me and my family will be living on the street. I'm sorry, but we have to do this. If you can figure out how to stop pollution, then we won't bother you anymore. Fine, I'll try. If you move the crowd, let my truck through, I'll go and ask the magical animals to get rid of the pollution. Okay. You have two hours. What? I... <laughs> <coughs> Hello? Are you the protesters? <coughs> Wait! Stop running! What are you? I'm an alien. You're an alien? Yes, she is. Be quiet and hurry up. The ocean can talk? Uh, this is what I'm talking about. They talk too much. <laughs> hey! All right, that was pretty rude of you. Hey, that's rude, H2O. Well, you won't hurry up, and the oil is hurting me. Why couldn't you just say that before? You were still speaking. <laughs> Can you help get the oil out of me? Um, I really need to find my pieces for my ship, and my ship is still in the ocean. Can you help me get my pieces? Help me. Oh, you, you heard that? I need water. Oh, okay. 
It's a duck. Party's <laughs> over. <laughs> it's just a duck. <laughs> Who are you? My name is Max the Duck, and I'm dying. Oh, <sighs> me too. <clears throat> Duck. Why am I dying? Because I have no water in my pond. I need water to survive. I don't have family. They all left because of the drought. They gave up. But I never gave up. Cause ducks don't give up. Dab. But didn't your family give up? Uh, yes, I guess some ducks give up. But not me. I didn't give up. This is where I have lived since I was a little duck. This is where I want to stay. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I can't help you. I'm dying. My dog is dying. And we don't know you. And I don't know you. You think I have time to help a duck I don't know? Bruh, you're the park ranger. You gotta help all of us. Michael, he's suffering. Maybe we should help. Okay. I'll think of something. Hey! Who are you? Oh, I'm Asta. What about you? Oh, uh, I'm Michael Jordan. The forest ranger. I used to play basketball. One night, my team lost the basketball championship two days in a row, and we got eliminated. So I needed a job. I saw the need help sign on the ranger station, so I got in. Uh, uh, what about you? Oh, I have to ask the magical animals to clear the pollution from the factory. If they close the factory, I'll lose my job. Oh, sorry, man. Hey, is that water in the back of your truck? Uh, yeah. Why? Uh, there's no water because of the drought. Look, I don't have much time. I, I only have two hours to try to save my job. Let's make this quick. Okay, let's make a deal. If I let you into the park to talk to the magical animals, you have to give me all the water in the back of your truck. You mean all my water? Well, I need some too. Okay, uh, maybe not all, but like, uh, half. Okay. <laughs> okay. You can go in now. Bye. Bye. MJ, the animals aren't going to help him. Uh, just so you know, the animals aren't going to help you. Every time they try to clean the air and water, people pollute it again. Okay, I get it. But I got to try. Maybe they'll understand. Whoa, this forest is so cool. So many magical animals. Ribbit. Hey, are you a magical animal? No, I'm a regular talking toad. How can you talk if you're not a magical animal? That's confusing. I was born this way. Oh, sorry. Well, I need to find a magical animal to help me save my job. Do you know any? No, I don't know any. And even if I did, I'm not snitching. Dab. So you know some, don't you? You're a tricky one. Dab. Let's make a deal. I'll bring you all the food you want if you show me where at least one magical animal is at. I won't even show you or tell you because there are bees all over the forest. I can eat them. Dab. Will you please stop dabbing? No, I will not stop dabbing. It's a part of me, Dab. Whatever. But I really need help. I'm anxious. I need that whole crowd of kids to stop being all up at my job. It's really annoying. I will tell you this. A long time ago, the magical animals have always cleaned the air and the water and the land after the people polluted it every time they asked. But every time we put it back to normal, the humans polluted it again. So we decided never to help ever again. D and dab.
How do I know that you are not lying and being selfish? I'm not lying. The animals will not help you. Well, guess what, buddy? I don't care about your fake story. You keep on blabbing your mouth and I'm gonna lose my job. Well, guess what? What? Goodbye. How could you steal my move like that? So rude. Thank you for putting water in the lake, MJ. You like it? Well, good, because that's the last of it. I only have one liter left. What do you mean that's the last of the water? I need water to live! Yeah, we're dying. A man just came out from a portal. Ah! Quack, quack, quack! Buck, buck, bark! What was that? Quack, quack, quack! <laughs> I need to hide. I can't let them see me. Too late. Goodbye. I'm leaving. <laughs> Who are you? And what year is this? Are you some type of humanal creature? No, I'm a guy from the future. From the what? Leave me alone. I want to be left by myself. You look suspicious. You're wearing a black suit and glasses. That's a suspicious outfit. Get out of here. <gasps> Dude! Why are you wasting my water? I thought you said it's running out. What's your problem? Why are you splashing water in my face? I do nothing to you! What are you doing here in my park? None of your business, and I don't care if it's your park. Now leave. He's the manager. I'm the manager. Be quiet. He's the manager, and he takes care of me. You listen to him. Okay, you the manager. I respect that. <laughs> so, if I tell you, will you leave me alone? Yes. 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 Okay. I'll tell you. Promise you won't tell anybody, okay? Mm, we'll see. We'll see. Is it something good or something bad? Oh, you'll find out. So... I'm here because my parents sent me. They put me on a task to steal all the wetlands from the past. Because there's a big hurricane coming in the future. We need the wetlands to soak up all the flood water. And if I don't steal them, they will not let me time travel back to the future ever again. Bruh. Quack, quack, quack. No, you can't. That's my home. Leave a wet alone you're from the future don't you have your own all the grass and the trees give me just what i need i need to protect it so you should just leave the wetlands are our home and they gotta be here and they gotta be here yeah the wetlands are our home and they gotta be here and they gotta be here yeah I have to succeed Don't tell me what to do I have to save my family That's more important than you The future is so dry No wetlands I could cry This is my only home Not our wetlands, no we need the wetlands to give us air, not tears, to protect us from flooding when the hurricane is coming. They suck up the rain, so it won't flood the train. You think you can rap? I'm way better than you. I got future perspective, so I know more than you. I don't care how I rap. That's not the point here. We're depending on the wetlands, so they gotta be here. The wetlands are our home, and they gotta be here, and they gotta be here. The wetlands are our home, and they gotta be here, and they gotta be here. The wetlands are our home.
Asia. Yeah. You know what? What? Just leave me alone. Peace out. Oh no. He just teleported away. The wetlands are in trouble. Hey all, I'm really excited to meet this week. We've got a couple new people joining. Meet Emily and Bong Soon, both doing really important activist work. Please, introduce yourselves. Hey everyone, I'm Emily. My pronouns are she, her, and hers. Hey Emily, Emily. welcome. Hey. My name is Bong Soon, but my friends call me Bon Bon. Jessica knows we go way back. And my pronouns are they, them, theirs. So bon bon. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the group. Excited to have you join. Okay, great. We have a lot to discuss. Um, I would like to bring up that air pollution, people's asthma, and global warming have all gotten worse because of the factory. We need to keep protesting and shut it down. Maybe we don't have to shut the factory down completely. Instead, we could have renewable energy. I already tried suggesting that to the factory owner, but she won't consider it. Also, it's not just the factory causing all of these problems. Cars, trucks, and airplanes contribute. Plus, there's the water shortage. Bees are disappearing not to mention all of the trash in the playground. But this is what I'm saying. We need to keep protesting. We need to gather people and demand that the mayor do something about all of this. The mayor isn't going to help. I've tried talking to him before. He says, I don't care. As long as I get my money, I'm good. He's lazy and he has a grumpy cat. Wow. Um, his cat is good. what he could do. We need to highlight people's experiences and ask what they need. We should go door to door to learn about their experiences. Talk, Talk to them That's directly. A great idea. Yes. Yeah. We can show the mayor videos of people that we met door to door. We can ask the people something like, um, have you ever had bad experiences with air pollution? And they could tell us why. I think That's a great idea. Not a lot of people are willing to help the environment because they don't think they're affected by it. Just like the mayor doesn't care about the playground because that's not where he plays. This will be a big part of confronting authority. Yes, Bong Soon? I'm really concerned right now about future coastal storms. I think it's urgent that we talk about how flooding will affect people on the coast and ruin their homes. We will need to help people find new homes. Everyone should be safe and have a place to live until they get back on their feet. People of color are most at risk of losing their homes because of environmental injustice. We need to make sure everyone gets back on their feet. Totally. If a hurricane hits, first, we need to get people to safety. We gotta make sure the most vulnerable people are taken care of. We should have a shelter in case of any disaster. Fire, flooding, hurricanes. Is there already a shelter? Does anyone here know how to build a shelter? We could show people how to build a shelter. We can ask park ranger Michael Jordan for help. Also, the drinking water might get polluted and people could get sick. There should be doctors at the shelter to help them feel better. Bong Soon, that's a great idea. We'll need the doctors, but let's demand that the mayor help. <laughs> it's his responsibility to help us build a shelter. Ugh, we honestly just need a new mayor. We could elect a new mayor. We do everything ourselves. The mayor's too lazy. And he has a grumpy cat. Oh, he's a cat. Is so so we want a new mayor because the old mayor is lazy and doesn't care about any of these problems. We want a new election. Who should be the new mayor? Oh, oh my goodness. What about you? you? It should be you. <gasps> what about you? Obviously, it should be you. Wow, whoa. Thank you all, but... <laughs> Big news from the other side of the pond. There's a guy from the future trying to steal the wetlands. Michael Jordan and I just saw him. This is urgent. I'll go find out what's going on. Okay. Everyone else, get back out into the community and see where we can help. Woo! Oh, wait, Bong Soon. I need to talk to you. What is it? Not now. In an hour. Where is she? Oh, she's never late. Well, sometimes.
five minutes late. Sorry, I had to feed the ducks. Next time, text me, okay? Okay, okay. Bye. What did you have to tell me? Um, should I tell them? Should I not tell them? I, I, I have to tell them. I have to tell them. I saw an alien today. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. Do you think I should tell the others? I don't know. How do you think they would react? Well, I, uh, I think that they would faint, especially Emily, because she's such a drama queen. <laughs> Okay, now I need to tell you something. What is it? The family's farm is not doing well. Our business might have to shut down. How can I help? You can be a volunteer and find bees. Bees help us grow crops. Also, uh, can I call you Jess? Okay, okay, I will find the bees. And of course you can call me Jess. I'm your best friend. But what am I gonna do about this alien? Don't! <clears throat> Ow! Why did you do that? I'm sorry, but I need this. Why are you doing this? People took something away from me. So I'm gonna take something away from them. If there's no bees, there's no food. Stop being mean to their bees, that's rude. You're killing their bees and you're killing my mood. You're causing a human and animal feud. This is my forest and this is my flow. So let me tell you something you might not know. We depend on their bees to make vegetables grow. Their population is down and that's so low. There are all these other problems I can why are you trying to add more to my list? The bees are already down to six. This is my forest, these are my kicks. This is my forest, this is my flow. 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 about don't you know that without the bees the farms can't grow food and then without food people are going to start using the factory and the factory pollutes i don't care let me eat i am hungry if there's no bees there's no food stop being mean to the bees that's rude you're killing the bees then you're killing my mood you're causing a human and animal feud. If there's no bees, there's no food. If there's no bees, there's no food. If there's no bees, there's no food. If there's no bees, there's Can you please no stop singing? Uh, hey, hey. I will not stop singing until you stop eating the bees. And have you ever asked me why I need bees? No. I need to eat insects to live. Oh, I am sorry for not asking. I am, however, still going to sing. Bees fly around and go into a flower. They rub themselves with pollen all over. They shake off the pollen at the next flower station. That's what we call pollination. Do you get it now, Toad? The bees, bees need respect. The crops aren't growing. I need to protect them. Don't eat the bees. I need to collect them. I can make you a soup. 
How to bother insects because if there's no bees, there's no food. 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 Wait, give me the jar. <laughs> Take all the bees. You can leave now. I don't know that you're telling the truth. They're alive. Just take them. I'm going to leave and head back to my house. I knew that I would always win. I knew she would take the fake bees. LOL. <laughs> Meanwhile. So what did... Ah! Are you okay? Ow! Did you get stung by the bees? <sighs> Calm down. Oh. We gotta go get the bark. Huh? The willow bark. I'll be right back. Just stay put and don't move. Wow. Hold still. Oh. This should help. It's a natural oh. healing plant. Wow. Oh, that's really helpful. Thanks. Don't thank me. I just navigated it. You just saved me. I wish I could pay you back, but I lost my job. I missed my job. Where did you work? At the factory. Oh, the factory that got shut down by the activist protests? Were you a part of the protest? No, I started it. What? Why? I had to. It's for our own good. Sokka feels bad for Asta and offers to help him find a new job. Meanwhile... Ah! There's a fire! What's happening? <coughs> there's a wildfire. Maybe you can splash water on it. I only have a little bit of water to splash. Maybe we can get water from the river over there. The river is dry. I told you, I only have a little bit of water left. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh, no, this is bad. How are we going to get out of here? I don't know. Maybe we could call somebody by screaming. Hey! Uh, Again, don't you see there's a wildfire happening right behind me? Oh, yeah. Now I see it. Oh, okay, how did this happen? Wait, are you, are you okay? Some oil dripped from an airplane and fell on a tree and lightning hit it. And it started to spread because of the dry land. Can you help us, Jessica? How can we stop it? H2O, wait, can't you make it rain? I am too weak. Uh, I could invite everyone to come pour buckets of water. No, a different plan. Yeah, that won't cover the whole wildfire. What about this? Oh, no, I forgot. Uh. Toad, you got something? Let me stink in my little toad head. Little toad mode. Ribbit? <gasps> Ribbit? <gasps> yes! What is the idea, Toad? Come on, what is it, Toad? I have no idea. Oh, oh for right. <gasps> Yes? My friend Sokka sings to the ocean. If we sing to you, H2O, maybe you'll feel better and get your powers back. I 
think I hear something. Is it the person from the future? Oh no, I hear something. I gotta get away fast, my senses are tingling. Hey! Hey! Dang it! I just needed 15 more seconds and I could've put the weapons in my container and left! Wait! Come back! Huh! I think she fell into the pit! She shouldn't have chased me. Oh, my God! This took so much body strength. Oh, there used to be wetlands there. I need to catch this thief. Oh, oh no. I think she sees me. Aha! Uh -huh. Are you the one responsible for this mess? You don't need to know. You don't want to know. Now leave me alone. No, I want to know why you did this and how. Oh my God. Look, I'm from the future and there are buildings everywhere instead of wetlands and nobody likes my family. And they took over all the wetlands that are still there and there's a big hurricane coming. And my family needs the wetlands to soak up all the flood water or else we won't live. So I'm going to steal the wetlands from this point of time. Why doesn't anyone like you or your family? Because we are different. We're the only ones that have superpowers and they think it's not fair. That's why. Now leave me be. No, please stay. Let's talk about it. I, I can kind of relate. What do you mean you can kind of relate? I'm from the future. You're here this year. Now, the past for me. I can tell you if you stop stealing wetlands. I don't care what you have to say. Leave me be or else. I'm just trying to help. I warned you. I am finding another way to do this. My arms are tired. Wait! People don't like my family either. What do you mean no one likes your family? Are you just lying to get my attention? No. This is kind of personal. I don't tell people about this, but people don't like me or my family because we're different. We get treated differently because we're mixed race. Some of us are a little darker than others. People bully me because of my color. And we don't get things we need like a clean park, or good air quality. Oh. I feel bad that you and your family get treated badly, like I do in my family. But I need to live. Wait, no, I need to live too. Because if this world is left with no wetlands, then there will be no future, and you won't even exist. But I have another way you can get wetlands to your family without stealing ours. There's no other way. You're not thinking this through. If you help us make more wetlands, it will help you have more wetlands in the future too. And your family will be safe and protected and you can go home. <sighs> okay, I'll help you build more wetlands. I don't believe you. I'll hey, hey, wait, wait, those. don't you take those off of me. Wait, ow, get, what are you doing? Get off of me, ow. Hey, wait, come back. I'm not lying. <laughs> hey, do you need help? Um, oh, I forgot. He can't talk. Can he talk? Ugh. I'm so confused. Leave me alone. I don't need you. So shoot. Are you a talking animal? Go away. Oh my God. I do need their help. <laughs> what a rude deer. I'm just trying to help, but no, he has to be rude. At least tell me your name, I guess. Tell me your name. I asked you first. I won't help you if you don't tell me your name. My name is Jarvis. Jarvis the Deer. My name is Bong Soon, but do you still want me to help you? 
Are you still going to be stubborn? I'm not going to be stubborn anymore, Bong Su. Okay, I'll help you. <laughs> Thank you, Bong Su. <laughs> but why were you so stubborn before? I was always alone and had no friends. I never trusted anyone. Oh, okay, that's fine. I just wanted to know. Huh? I feel bad for him. I still don't trust you. Okay, that's fine. But I still have one more question. What is it? Why were you all alone? Everybody left when my habitat was destroyed by the Phragmites. I was just a baby deer. <laughs> Just a baby deer. No wonder he's so cold and bitter and doesn't trust anyone. I hate to see animals all sad. I am going to try to help this deer no matter what. I still need a home. I think I know how I can help you. Follow me. Where are you taking me? It's a surprise. It better be a good place. Wow, just trying to help again. What is this place? Read the sign. Animal Rehabilitation Center. Welcome, I'm Asta. I work here now. This is where you're gonna stay until you heal. <laughs> I'll visit you a few times. Okay. <laughs> hey. If you see your friend Jessica, tell her I'm sorry for being a jerk at the protest. Your group really helped me and my family. Thank you. After Jarvis heals, Asta and the Rehabilitation Center give him his very own piece of land near the beach, where Jarvis builds a new home for himself. Meanwhile... <clears throat> Help! Oh, I just remembered. I have powers. <laughs> She's so gullible, she forgot I have powers. What is wrong with you? Why would you do that? I guess I saw your fingers crossed. Dang it. Well, look. This time, I won't cross my fingers. Promise? I have my fingers out. <sighs> okay, to make more wetlands, we need to plant lots of different kinds of plants all along the shore. I'll post to my friends so they can come help us, and hopefully, other people will join. Okay, but if this doesn't work... It's going to work. If we make more wetlands in the present, it's gonna translate to the future. And then, the hurricanes won't hurt us in both time periods. Okay, but if this doesn't work... I'm going to destroy your house. Why do you act so tough? It's personal. Come on. Please, I won't tell. Fine. I think I act tough because I'm afraid I won't complete my task and be able to go home. I miss my family. I'm sorry. I know we're gonna get you home safe and sound. Hey, what's up? Hey, uh, hi, I'm Brian. I'm the guy from the future. It's a suspicious, suspicious guy. guy. No, 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 I'm not gonna steal your wetlands. I'm gonna help build more. I have powers too. I know it's crazy, but I, I can't explain that right now. It'll take too long. There's a big hurricane coming. Let's jump into action. First, we'll need more water and land. Oh, oh boy. This is going to take a long time. It sure is. are the mayor. You are responsible for this. Our playground is 
covered with trash that is dangerous for kids. If you clean it, people will be thankful and vote for you. Hmm. Maybe. But I have too much work. What do you mean? When I walked in this office, you were sitting here eating a donut. Mind your business. Then I'll go and tell everyone you don't care about their well-being. They won't believe you. I'm the mayor, not you. We'll see about that. Sorry I'm late, I had to do chores and wash the dishes. You never do your chores. What's the real reason? Okay, okay. I helped a thief plant wetlands so he would stop stealing ours! What? Remember that boy Max the Duck was talking about? I remember him. Yeah! Thank you for helping me clean up the playground since the mayor's too busy filing papers to help us. This town deserves someone not lazy. He doesn't care about the factory pollution. He lets the park get polluted. The wetlands are disappearing. He's not a good mayor and he has a grumpy cat. Let's get to work. We get distracted too easily. What's a crazy dream? You have one every day. What's the crazy dream? No dreams too crazy. Okay. Listen up. I had a crazy dream. You were mayor. You got everything done. No complaints and we had a lot of fun. I had a crazy dream. You were the mayor and you gleamed as the mayor. The real mayor doesn't even show. You would make a better mayor. All the activists say so. All the activists say so. The mayor has all the dough. I would make a better mayor, and everyone says so. I care about the people. People are equal, and everything is fair. I'm not lazy, and I really care. Oh yeah, she'd be the better mayor. I had a crazy dream. Ariella was the mayor. I care about the people. I'm not lazy, and I really care. So yeah, I would make a better mayor. Make a better mayor. A better mayor. Look at all the work I've done to clean the playground. Listen up! We're the ones who cleaned this park, not this lazy man! Everybody, listen up. A hurricane is coming. This mayor is not going to help us. So we got to take it into our own hands. Who's we? We are calling all activists, including our friends, Jessica, Saka, and Bong Soon. Everyone stay calm. We will help you. The activists have arrived. We are going to start our emergency plan. What's the emergency plan? Saka and I will make sure that everyone has something to eat and we'll get blankets to make sure everyone is warm. And then we will make sure the animals know what's happening. Oh, great. What about me? Help me make sure everyone is safe and sound. We, we never built a shelter. Oh no! Where are we going to go? Hang on. Let me call a friend. Hey. Oh no. <gasps> we'll go into the spaceship. Oh, it's fine. Why do 
wouldn't you want to leave? I built my home here with my own two hooves. There's no way a hurricane's going to scare me away. I've gone through so much to have this beachfront property. Don't you want to be safe? Why do you want to live here? There are no trees here. When you shed your antlers, there's nothing to scratch on. I'm not afraid of little rain falling flooding. What's the worst that could happen? Um, your house gets filled with water and blows away? I don't know how you think this is heads or tails. Go build your house in the forest where it belongs. I won't budge until you come out and stop driving me crazy. Ugh. Why am I trying to help such an ungrateful brat? Hey, that hurt my feelings. Calling me names ain't gonna help your case. And just because I'm a deer doesn't mean I have to live in the forest. Ever since it started getting so much warmer in the city, my fur has got nice and tan. Beach ready. Ha <laughs> I belong here. Well, go ahead. Your valuable fur isn't important. Believe me. Look, I'm trying to help you. You can't be sure you're gonna be okay. But if you don't want my help, then good luck. Stay safe. I don't. Why do you care so much? You don't even know me. What does it matter if I want to... I do know you. You are Jarvis. And you might die. Okay. I'll move. But I can't drop it, I'm big and swirling And I can't block it I want to be regular water Just cold, nice, regular water I want to make normal weather No hurricanes, no floods No streets full of mud Just cold, nice, regular 
Is everyone okay? Yeah, we're okay. The animals at the rehabilitation center <sighs> are okay. Oh, Thank goodness. Jarvis the deer is here. <gasps> Toad! Max the dog! Jarvis, Toad, you're, you're safe! Okay. More animals and people came out from Myla's spaceship, and they share stories about how they survived the storm. The new wetlands helped protect the city from the worst of the hurricane, but there were still some scary moments. Max the duck was swept out to sea. Brian swam out to rescue him, but a big wave tossed them both into the air. Michael Jordan, who is also a shapeshifter, transformed into lightning the wolf, caught Max and Brian on his back, and ran them to safety. It was a heroic moment, reminiscent of the big basketball championship. But this time, MJ made a slam dunk. The citizens of the city start to imagine a better future with more parks, farms, and forests. The young activists call themselves the Big Green Leaders and invite everyone to join them in making their neighborhoods safe, beautiful, and just. They acknowledge they have a lot of work to do. They start making plans, planting trees to restore the burned forest, working with Alea to make solar panels and wind turbines to power the city, help Bong Soon's family protect their farm, elect Ariella as a new mayor, when suddenly, Myla, that's just Lucy the Chihuahua. Phew! Ah! What's a Chihuahua? It's my dog. Oh, phew! Thanks for letting us use your spaceship as an emergency shelter. Yeah, yeah. thank you, thank so, you much. so much. Oh, it's fine. What happened to you? Are you okay? I let all the people go into the spaceship first, and just before I got in, there was this big, giant air thing, and it whooshed me away. And then it stopped and I fell in this mysterious place with whatever these big, giant, tall things are that are green like me. They're called trees. They give us lots of oxygen so we can breathe. And they suck up the carbon dioxide out of the air. Oh, that's why they're green on top? Is that why I'm green on top? <laughs> I yeah. Oh! OMG, I'm getting a phone call from my parents! <gasps> uh, yeah. Pick it up, pick it up. Hello? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <gasps> OMG, they said that the wetlands are appearing in the future! Yes. I'm so happy we did it, and my house will be destroyed! <laughs> LOL. Thanks, Emily. You saved my life. I know. And I had fun with you, too. I have to go back to the future. Your parents are going to be proud. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Bye, Ryan. Guys, I've been thinking in my head. I think I want to stay in the city on this planet. Even though there are big giant air things, those fire things, a bad mayor, the dry things, bad air stuff, bad water stuff. I love it here still. I have friends like Jessica, the ocean, and, uh, and it's kind of fun here. I'll be your friend. What's your name? My name's Myla.
living without bees. See, there's just uh, no bees, no 